Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Black Sad with your host Fallen Wolf. <clears throat> so, uh, last time we left off, um, oh man, it's been, how long has it been since I've played this? It has been, it's been a long time. Uh, it has been, oh, a month. I think it's been a little over a month. So, last time we left off on Black Sad. We, Black Sad, had gotten some information. Oh my gosh, what is his name? This shows you how long it's been since I played this game, and I feel bad about it because I really, I really do enjoy Black Sad. It's just been things have been working. I've been, you know, working a new job, I'm getting used to that. Um, trying to catch up with other um, games on this channel. Um, I cannot remember his name right now. The Wolf Guy. Um, he went to his office and we found out some information, which we didn't really find that much information, but Weekly found out that Cassidy is having a poker game and Frank Cassidy is the manager for the other boxer that Bobby Yale was supposed to fight, who Bobby Yale is the one that is currently in the hospital Obviously, I can't give everything away because if you're really interested, you can easily watch the other videos in this playlist. But basically, that's where we're at. Uh, Black Side is undercover. He's at this poker game pretending to be somebody else. And with a very interesting Texas accent. So, with that being said, I'm going to get right into the swing of things. And... I apologize in advance for the very short and brief and maybe not the best, <laughs> maybe not the best synopsis of what happened recently. But anyway, we're going to keep going. Table and guns are in the safe. Now, we got a lovely night of poker ahead of us full of smoking and bourbon. So let's get started. Take a seat, Mr. Farnham. Let me introduce oh, boy. you. To my right, wearing gray boxes and weighing in at 140 pounds, the owner of Pink Vice, the largest meat market in all of Manhattan. Oh boy. In other words, a real son of a bitch. No offense to the women he exploits. <laughs> Our reigning champion, oh Oswald Quince. A title I aim to keep, provided our new contender here doesn't interfere. You are dealing with the word. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, partner. You ain't got a chance to inhale. But look at it this way. You're fixing to learn new Ooh. tricks. <laughs> for better or for worse. To show off. I only need one trick. Playing oh, well. Man. The truth is that our friend Fodham owns the largest and, I dare say, most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues, then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually in a little town Oh, he's going to ask uh, us? Uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. Ooh. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Where gambling is legal. Amarillo, right? The town's Amarillo. No. Uh, no, that's not it. Oh, that did I mess I up? Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone wrong. That you've made a terrible mistake. Did I mess up? I don't like that. Oh. Am I? Oh, no. Please tell me I didn't get another uh, ending. Sorry. Did I say sometimes? Of well, course, I actually. In a did, did we get the answer to that before? Okay. Oh, all right. Take two. Oh, uh, it has to be Las Vegas. Yeah, what was it? Darn it, I, I it has it to be Las Vegas because I don't know what the answer could be besides that. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling. No, is it legal. can't be that. You mean ding dong Texas? <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, it, it can't be Vegas, because I was like, he just said that. It wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> well, 
Who'd ever think of a name like that? <laughs> yeah, what kind of name is that for a town? Well, casino or no casino, let's just hope he doesn't keep as many aces up his sleeve as the late Pentamiglia, huh? Amen. To my life. Wearing brown boxes and weighing in at 396 oh, pounds. Boy. Frank, show some respect, huh? The hospitality tycoon, Polly. <laughs> this guy doesn't Polly even know his names. The people he plays with. Tycoon? I just own a small bar with pool tables. Oh, Clients drink close to nothing and play even less, but certain business transactions mm. just couldn't happen anywhere else. Damn it, Polly. Why don't I know your last name? Because they took it away from me. You have no idea how good my ex-wife's lawyer is. <laughs> Women, they even take our damn names. <laughs> uh, I hate doing this, but we're going to laugh. <laughs> you're too much, Polly. When you're done sightseeing, why don't you drop by La Iguana for a game of pool? I Get hate doing drink. this. But... I, I have, have to, to play the part. You, my clientele isn't crazy about fairy fellas such as yourself. Oh. Okay. I love pool. Thanks. I love me some pool. Perfect. It'll be my pleasure. You're looking to start your own pool business, Farnham? Uh, what's going on here? This guy here wants to start a boxing association in Texas. And guess who he's turning to for advice? To be honest, several things got me worried. So I'd be much obliged for any counseling. So, what worries yeah. Rebel coaches, athletes. Those their athletes hooking up with each other. Like Al Stone and Helen Moore. I see you subscribe to What's News. Yeah, my star boxer. The reigning champion. He's having an affair with America's sweetheart. Hey, I got nothing against those two idiots falling in love. Mm. Don't get me wrong, but it's taking a toll on his performance. I don't think he'll lose against Yale, but I'm starting Ooh. to worry a bit. Billy, Ma, bring out the bourbon. We're drying up here. I'll deal with a fresh deck, of course. We respect traditions in this establishment. Poker is as boring as it is simple. All you need to do is read people's faces. Mm. And even the worst detective has that trick up his sleeve. The real issue is knowing what to play for when there's much more than just money at stake. Play to lose. Damn it. What again? How many games have you won in a row, Quince? <laughs> and here I was hoping that Farnham would steal your championship belt. Mark my words. Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, hey, hey. By the way, mm. did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic, huh? What happened? Oh, plain bad luck. Hey, but Farnham, I'm, I'm sure you know more about it than I do. Hold on. Try to remember. Because I was like, I don't remember this. Oh. Anyway, Kenny. Thanks for fixing I the hate game. these try to remember because you have you're such a limited amount of time. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> Jeez. Craziest goddamn Texan in New York. And the poor fella's already got enough on his hands now that his wife. Let him talk, let him talk. Women just gotta have their vices. They're... But she's in a rehab clinic now, hooked on. Oh. Can he. That's it, tranquilize. Don't tell me women don't have their vices, Ooh. too. Bring out the bourbon, Billy Bob. Come on. Come on, give me, give me the bird. Maybe I spoke too soon when I said that poker is easy for a good detective. Even when you play to lose, it's best to win the occasional hand to avoid Ooh. suspicion. But with Quince, it was just impossible. Well, I'll be damned. I don't believe this. See what we mean, Farnham? I still don't get why you keep coming for more, boys. 
I'm starting to think you all lose on purpose. <laughs> In which case, you're about to have a blast. Is he <laughs> cheating? <laughs> Poor Farnham. Came looking to make big bucks in the city with his boxing and he's gonna lose it all with polka. <laughs> I hope your counseling will make up for it. Yeah, so how can I be of help? Uh, legal gammers, homicidal, rebel. Having to compete with illegal gamblers like that O'Leary fella. Mm. Oh, <laughs> one would almost think that you live in New York, my friend. That son of a bitch killed one of my men and left the poor bastard on my damn porch. Oh, is that that dog now. guy that we saw earlier in the, like, the uh, got put on another TV. episode? People want a fair game. Honest mm. boxes and no shady business. You can't break the law anymore like before. Nowadays, they gotta bribe those big network executives to negotiate for broadcasting mm. rights. Cassidy bribing TV uh, rebel coaches? Rebel coaches like Joe Dunn. Oh, I see you've done your homework. That bastard wouldn't accept the most basic mm. rules. For example, Banning boxers from official competitions when the managers don't belong to my association. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry for his death. But if they ever find the murderer, I'd be glad to pay his lawyer fees. Wow. Come on, come on. Let's steal another hand before Quince accuses us of trying to break his winning streak. Ain't gonna happen. Gentlemen, I suggest you never tell your sons about this game unless you want to lose their respect. Wait, you mean our sons actually respect wow. us? <laughs> I hear you. There's no way to set boys straight these days. They don't even respond to a good old beating. I hate answering you like this, but like I'm trying to blend in. We're trying to black to blend in. I dare say Texan boys do respond to a good beating. Hey, careful, Quince. You're talking to a pro. So, uh, Kenny told me you had quite a house full. How many kids you got in that oh. house full of yours? I don't remember. I don't want to lose again. Try to remember. Try to remember. I don't remember. No. That son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist... Perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. We'll move him, we'll move him. Even so, I doubt yeah. I could have just stood there and watched him die. Unfortunately, I didn't break a sweat. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Him. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. Yeah, can we retry? Okay. I just stood there and watched him die. There we go. There we go. Okay. I was like. No. Deserving or not, the man would live. Okay, now I gotta. F where am I? Now I gotta figure out how many kids this guy. Oh, wow. Ah. One, two. Six wanted something. I don't know how you deal with all of them. All boys. Does it have to be now? Mm. Oh, never let Quince near one of you dogs. Oh, what? Come on, Polly. Children are sacred. I won't Cassidy. put a finger on them until they're two. Oh. After that, well. <laughs> oh, that makes me cringe. No, oh, I don't want to hear that. Oh. Let's just say some men. Have needs that uh, can only be met oh. by a young girl that age, <laughs> if you know what I oh. mean. Are you alright, Farnham? Oh, disgusting. Oh, uh, yeah, he should be behind bars. That is so just. Oh my gosh. I see, like, I couldn't do stuff like this because I would have ended up beating the crap out of this guy. There goes your winning streak, you sick. Bastard. Oh. Rat him out. Rat him out, because he's disgusting. Rat him out. Sooner or later, the police are gonna bust your ass. Quince. Mm. What the hell are you talking about? I bet you're as bad at hiding those poor girls as you ooh, are keeping that ooh, ace up your ooh. sleeve. What? 
Oh! Caught him. He's screwed. Quince. Oh. Don't believe a word he's saying, uh -oh. Frank. Ooh. Also, that's clipping through his sleeve. Oh. Oh, he's not. He's not gonna. Oh wow. I don't even feel bad. I'm not even gonna. Don't you dare call me Frank. Billy Bob. Oh. It's 500 more. Huh. For washing up. It's a deal. Oh. <laughs> oh. And good call, Farnham. I owe you one. Please, take that flying scumbag's tokens. And mine too. Wow. I'm feeling generous. Hey, turns out the governor accepted my suggestion to let Bobby yell out of prison on the day of the fight. Shh. Hey, this is turning out to be the perfect wow. night. Wow. I don't even feel but I don't even feel bad for him. If you decide to go ahead with your new venture, call me Farnham. Wow. Your behavior at last night's game was utterly insulting. Never contact me again, or I'll put an end to your pathetic life. If our common acquaintance should ask you about your business endeavors, tell him that boxing is too violent for you. Oh. Signed, Frank Cassidy. Ooh. Okay. All right. My own tracks would be covered the following morning when Cassidy read this note from Farnham. Mm. Dear Mr. Cassidy, though I'm grateful for your kind help, last night's game made me realize that boxing is just too violent for a peaceful Texan like myself. I have decided to invest elsewhere. <laughs> sincerely, Howard M. Farnham II. Okay, that line came out so late. All right, that was okay. A lot happened in that part, and we still have um, a lot happened in that part, and I still it's still pretty early. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer. That was uh, ooh, a lot happened in that very short amount of time. We'll play. Uh, I'll play for a little longer. As for me, it was the first time in days that I had gone to bed without my day A real shame. Nothing like a bruised body to help you to sleep like a baby. Maybe I should have given myself a beat. Fourteen days until the fight. Okay, two weeks. Oh, and that was Sonia. Oh boy, what happened now? What happened now? I'm telling you, things are gonna start really getting intense. Oh boy, curious to see what's gonna happen. I really, the only thing about this game that I really dislike is there's a lot of graphical, there's a lot of animation issues. Um, animation issues and loading times. Loading times are way too long for this kind of game, like, at points. Oh! 
It was like this when I got here. When? When did you get here? I've been calling you for over an hour. Calm down. I'll take care of this. <sighs> okay. Oh boy. Okay. Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. Mm. Wow. Somebody was snooping. Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. Footprint in Dunn's office. Okay. Some document with his foot. Ooh, new deduction. Hold on. We got four, actually, it says. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Smell of sardines. Okay. Paper tissue that smell like sardines in the gym office. Okay. I'm Because I'm going to do all this... First, oh, and yeah, hold on, hold on. Black side, I need you to move. There you go. I need you to move. All right, let's look through this. Hmm. Nope. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. And he left the money. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious hmm. they weren't looking for money. Did they take anything? No, although. When you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? Ooh. I put it back. I'd rather not go through the that again. The gun's missing. I'm going to believe her. I really honestly don't think she took it back. That's too bad. It looks like they took it. Okay, so we're missing the gun. So the only thing they took out of the safe was the gun. Uh... All right, we got a lot of deductions. I want to get this out the way. And thankfully, it doesn't. Okay, and thankfully, I don't have to worry about the little other picture, the NSFW picture that was on here, because I already took care of that when I was talking to O'Leary. Okay, so let's see. O'Leary's feet on the... Huh. Judging by the... Yale's shoes don't match the footprints. O'Leary keeps romantic. O'Leary bet $5,000 on Yale. And O'Leary always plays it safe. And then judging... is a Judging by the bet stone, it's clear favorite against Yale. I don't, yeah, okay. It looks like O'Leary has rigged the fight mm. between Stone and Yale. Okay, O'Leary's fixed the fight. O'Leary has rigged, has rigged the fight between Yale and Stone. Okay. okay, so I have two, looks like two more deductions. Okay, so then we have... Yale shoes don't match the footprints at the gym. O'Leary's feet on the table? No, okay. The gym burglar sign... I... I have the right idea, I just don't know. Okay, Jim Burger signed a document with his foot. Okay, so then we have... Who do the footprints at the gym belong to? And I think I did this when I was wrong. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? Oh, I know what's on the tip of my tongue. Okay, so let me see. Mary's been at Yale's place recently, Helen. During a romantic inscription, Helen Moore. Let me try this one. Helen Moore carries a cigarette case bearing a romantic inscription. O'Leary keeps romantic pictures of her. Here we go. Okay, that's another one. It's pretty clear that Helen Moore's cigarette mm -hmm. case was a gift from O'Leary. Okay, that one I got. Do I have any more deductions or was that it? I feel like there's going to be one more. I don't know. Okay, I have no idea. I have no idea who it could be then. I'm trying really hard to think. I feel like I need that deduction. I feel like I need that deduction. I feel like I need that in order to go progress. But I really don't know what else it could be. I feel like Avenarius doesn't have anything to do with anything. It literally says, signed a document with his foot. <sighs> mm. 
stuck a bit with his foot. And this was now. It's like a gym burglar. And then I have this, but it's like, I don't know which one it would be. Because when I do that, it's no, right? I feel like that would be it. Signed a document. And then it leaves this one. It's not too planned it out. Who's the guy I passed for years? Doctor, I would think. And this was wrong. Okay, I have no idea. Let me go back in there. Can I go back in there? Or no? No. And like, don't worry everyone, I'm probably gonna skip through- Oh, what's that? What's that? Is this yours? Mm, I think it belongs to the new cleaning lady. Mary just wasn't working out, so she left. Clarice Freeman? Yes. You think she did this? Is that another clue? I have to be missing something. So that's her purse. Hmm. A piece of jean fabric on the stairs that led to the gym rooftop. Huh. Here we go. So is that it? Wait here, please. Okay. Oh! My goodness! Oh! Oh. Oh. Okay. Could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. Okay, so we've got a knife. Looks like he was stabbed or slashed. What's this? Ah, damn. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay. So she was a mother. Trying to see what else we can see. I can just picture her saying, Honey, I found a job. We're finally gonna make ends meet. Oh, jeez. Okay. What's this? Hmm. She has the worst luck. Like, this place is cursed. Like, this this place is cursed. It does not need to be here. I want you to call the police, Sonia. And then go straight to a friend's house. Don't even think about going home and definitely don't come back here. I'm, I'm staying at a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Wow. Good. Do what is with the music? Like the audio? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop. If he hasn't been there yet. All right. Ooh, things are getting really interesting. And I actually think I'm gonna stop here. I, we had a lot happen this episode. I'm kind of happy because um, things the last few episodes here and there have been kind of slow. This was actually a lot happened in a short span of time. 
right after this, I'm gonna pause. Oh, you know what? Actually, I could pause. Actually, I could pause right now, I think. Well, let me wait. Let me see if it's gonna open. But once I had the keys to the place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks, or... Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Break the door down. No one in here? Okay. Let me see real quick if I can figure out the seduction one last time. If I can't, we're gonna I'm gonna say forget it and we'll do it another time. I don't think we'll have anything. But I think when I did this, it didn't do anything. No, okay. Nail shoes don't match the footprint at the gym. Cat burglar signed it. Who the footprints at the gym belong to? We already did that, so I think it. No. All right. I want to figure this one out because it's saying there's a deduction, but I can't figure it out. And then who does? I feel like this has to be it. Okay, there we go. Finally. No. Okay. Footprints don't match. Or if O'Leary killed Dunn, he did it without stepping. Finally. In the or in okay. Shoes. There we go. O'Leary's souls don't match. Okay, so we know O'Leary didn't do it. Okay, finally. Okay. Now I can stop. That was bothering the heck out of me. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by this video. Um, uh, I know I took a long time just to get through the deductions, which you probably won't see most of them. I'll probably skip through just to get through the deductions that I actually did solve. But uh, thank you so much everyone for watching this video. Um... A lot has happened this episode. Uh, I'm very happy to say a lot has happened this episode, and I'm very eager to see where we're going forward. We know for a fact now that Frank Cassidy, almost almost for a fact, that we know Frank Cassidy didn't murder Dunn, and we know that O'Leary didn't do it because his souls don't match the paint. So that leaves a lot of questions. Bobby Yale's still not fully innocent. We still, he's still a chance that he was involved in this in some way. Um, there's possibly Mary, and I can't really think who else could possibly have done it. That's the thing. I think we still need a lot more. I think there's still a lot more going on that we haven't really seen. But with that being said, though, thank you so much for everyone for watching this video. If you really like what I do, feel free to comment, like, and or subscribe to my channel. As well as if you really want to help uh, support my channel, feel free to become a patron. There are currently two tiers. I have... You can either become a supporter, which means only a dollar a month, and it just helps me, lets me know you're supporting the channel, and you get a shout out at, uh, you get a shout out in my video at the beginning of each month, or you can even be a pack mate, which means, besides all the other offers, you get a supporter where you get a shout out in a video. You will also get, you will also get uh, early access to my videos before I post them on YouTube, as well as some of my videos that I some of my videos that I have to edit before I post them on YouTube you will get full access to the uncensored videos so just some food for thought before uh, in case you're thinking about possibly you know possibly debating on becoming a patron but with that being said though this has been Fallen Wolf Arr! and I'll see you next time everyone take care bye